Hi, welcome to this video. We are going to talk about phase three, plasma and the plasma gallery. So there is already a phase four for plasma. So that means that you can build your own ISO. So in, in short, let's um, talk about the three projects we have because it's often not clear to people that we have actually three major projects. And it's all down here maybe that this makes some sense. There's the Bix Arco Linux ISO which provides three desktops in one. So you can switch from one to the other and learn and learn and learn. Arco Linux D is a minimal desktop where you choose your desktop. The D stands for choose whatever you want. So this is a minimal ISO and then you install with scripts all these desktops. And we have now 11 desktops. So we need to more of these bullets here, these circles. Arc Linux B is starting from scripts and actually starting from Arc Linux ISO. You edit a script that says Firefox. That's all it says, Firefox. You put a hashtag in front of it. Firefox will not be on the Arc Linux B ISO. It's that simple. It's not more complex than that. All the rest we take care of. A meaning we have 11 choices for you, 11 desktop choices, but you can stick with Arc Linux as well. So no changes, XFCE, Openbox, i3, or take Arc Linux and change everything on that ISO. So we give you full flexibility. I hope you realize that with these three options, these three projects, you can do whatever you want with Arc Linux. This is predefined. That's the one we were working as a, as a team. This one is just one ISO, one um, desktop environment, but you build it up with scripts. You edit scripts and you are almost the archway. You know, the installation is still Calamaris, still not the archway, but it's, well, you know, a percentage. And Arduino's B is an actually building a complete ISO and the result is an ISO with whatever desktop you want and whatever applications you want. Fine. I hope that's clear. And um, now we're going ahead with our Plasma gallery. So that's what uh, we are going to update later on. So all these nice pictures of all the people on Google Plus and Facebook are included and of mine and of the team. But the thing is we are, we need to make a new video for the installation. So there is no installation yet. What we've done is an article Linux D, we put it in VirtualBox, that's our standard virtual machine, and we followed the tutorial, and now we are uh, booted up, so it's behind here, you see, and we boot it, and we need to do these three steps here. And then we're going to go to phase two. We're gonna git clone everything from Arco Plasma, and then, oh, there's a typo here, and we are going to um, install everything and just like that the typo is gone so that's where, what we're going to do right now so on the left screen I have this website open and the right screen I'm recording everything so logging in then we need to have the fastest mirror in your country so it actually looks where you live asks the fastest service for arch nothing to do with Arco Linux. Okay, so you know that 90% of Arco Linux is Arch, so now we have the proper service. Then we're going to update the Arch elements and the Arco elements. So as you see, there are no, there's no mention of Arco Linux anywhere. So this is just an Arch update, but I do see there is a virtual boss box guest update. When I see that, plus Linux, then I have already, whoa, should I reboot? When I ins run this one after the other, that means that anything that is coming from the AUR is going to be updated. So yes, even on a tutorial and virtual box, proper reflex is if you see Linux or Linux LTS, or if you see virtual box uh, add-ins, since we're in virtual box here, then we need to reboot. Done that. NeoFetch tells me what I am and how many packages I have and all that. 
And then next up, phase two. Phase two, let's scroll in the article. We see that we have git clone HTTPS. We get it from github.com. This is based on the Linux uh, ISO Arch Linux D. So the D stands desktop, stands for decide the desktop. And we are Arco slash or, or minus. And then we decide i3, awesome, BSP, WM, Mate, Cinnamon, Plasma. Yeah, that's, that was uh, the one. LS, we move, change the directory to Arca, Arco, Plasma, better. LS, and then it says on the article, start running the scripts from zero till 900 in this case. The first one is to make sure that all the cores of your computer will work so they, that the installation will go faster. Second one is going to install Plasma, among other things, but also LightDM, so the display manager. And in case you would stop here, I have also included the Arco Linux wallpapers already, so you have a nice login. But basically, it's um, this is the big chunk of our um, installation of our desktop. A normal Arco Linux ISO of any kind, i3, BSP, WM, so very small window tiling managers, it still stays around 2 gigabyte, 2.1. But this one, the plasma is 2.7, so we can actually deduct that 700 megabyte is solely for plasma and all the applications that come with it. But on the other hand, if everything is installed from plasma, I don't think you'll ever need anything else. I mean, it's a complete desktop plasma. LS. Then we go to the usual things like, hey, do you want sound and music? Yep. Maybe we should install that then. And if we'd like Bluetooth, then you need to install the Bluetooth. So why do I install it? For instance, for my headset, some Bluetooth headset, beautiful, works out with the box. Wasn't like that a year ago. Now everything changes, everything evolves. We're in constant change. We, computers, development, everything. Okay, what is one four zero? That's samba. Samba is a, a nice song and a, I mean a nice dance. I mean, but it's of course not that. It's telling that this person Eric can actually access my computer with a password Eric, and then we share a folder on our computer. And from somewhere on your network, your local network, of course, Eric can log in and get uh, to the documents and files on your system. That's samba. That's wrong, but never mind. You just keep typing. And this one is for uh, to, to navigate to NAS servers, things that are in your network that you can directly access them and see them in your file manager. Right, we are off to the big bigger chunks. So 200 is the Arch Linux repo. So this is 100% Arch and it is Firefox, it is Chromium, it is GIMP, it is Inkscape. It's Atom and all kinds of software packages. So again, Arch Linux D is just a file, it's a script. So reuse our script, take the one, download the one you just saw, git clone it, then start editing and say, don't want Firefox, do on Steam, and so on. Edit, type it, run it. And next time you need to install it, you use your scripts again rather than um, having to go through everything separately. sudo pacman minus s Firefox, sudo pacman minus s Chromium. If you put it in a script, you just click, run, sit back, enjoy the ride. And in the end, everything is set up again like a few months ago. So that's one of the advantages of actually typing everything in a script, what you would normally type in a terminal. AOR, a word of AOR, Arch User Repository. Arch User Repository is a place where 
we put all our recipes. So this is the AOR, Arch Linux user repository. AOR home and lots of packages are in here. This is just a recent update. There is so many packages in there. So we can always look for, I don't know, Spotify or something. It's one of the applications I install. If you type it right there, Spotify. So elements that you say, hey, I'm missing this or that application that's not on Arch, this is the place to be. And what did I do? I think about three years ago, I just um, deleted the Spotify thing, clicked on popularity. 48 for Spotify, let's delete this thing here, uh, go, I guess. Popularity, again, popularity. Now the biggest one is on top. So the AOR men or the another AOR helper like uh, Yahoo, Packer, had, we had Packer, we had Packer. Uh, some of them have died already. There's still Yahoo. Not sure if it's going to stay, but Jay is here. Um, Trizen is here as well. So a lot of things are, well, the top, take a look at the top popular ones, you know, and see if you, if there's anything like Minecraft, my son plays this thing, Crop Customizer, we have this in Arco Linux. So things that you say, hey, they, they have that as well, or, or else you just start. The keyword, okay, still building up, so that's fine. Votes is also maybe an interesting do, thing to do. Check out the votes. 3,000 people actually voted for Yaourt. One of the things that maybe will go away in the future. That's an AOR helper. The Microsoft fonts, yeah, I know. But they are here. Sometimes they're needed to have a nicer application on Linux. Spotify is here already. That's a fast one. Team Viewer, interesting. So go ahead, I went through, I don't know, 20 pages or something. Page six, we're at 150 votes and you can go to 11, 104 votes. There's handbrake, also interesting. So yeah, okay, so that's AUR for you guys. Take a look at it. Um, if you're new to Arch, then that's uh, a place to see if applications that you are used to, accustomed to, if they are on Arch, yes or no. Uh, another great tip, and it's still running, so whatever. Another great tip is printers and all that, hardware stuff. So if you have something in your house, you say, I want to have support for my Canon printer, you start with this. And you say, name, for instance, a lot of Canon stuff is in here. You see? Um, let's type some more. I know Epson, if, if Epson is here, yup, it is. Checking again, all right. Uh, some uh, brother is another one. Oh, brother. Lots of brother things. So it does not mean if we run the script there for the printer, it does not mean that it's actually your printer that is already in there. Maybe that you need to install it anyway, this, this driver for yours. So that is also probably a very important part of will I go for Arch or not? depending on the hardware that is supported. I'm waiting for the installation of the rest of the script. Pausing here. And then we want to install VirtualBox, yes or no. And let's continue with the script. It's almost done, so not pausing here. The last thing it will do is uh, check out if there are any app, well uh, icons that are not following your icon theme, what they called hard-coded icons or the hard code fixer is going to fix it and those are one two three four four not five just four applications that do not um, well do not follow the theme that you will select in the future so now they're fixed then arrow up that was number 300 ls Let's go for 400. And this is an uh, Arch repo again, but this time specifically for KDE or Plasma. Um, so it's distro specific. So this number in script, we put everything that is special. Special. You see all these K's in front of there? K Hangman and all that, K Turtle. So these are stuff, K Jong, yeah, K Jong. I don't know, say it correctly, K Mines. You know, these games, 
from Windows, the Minds game. Anyway, so everything related to Plasma, coming from Arch, uh, stuff, more stuff that we need is going to be installed via the script. And taking a break here. Okay, installation is finished and um, we are in the wrong window. So number 400 is the last one we ran. Number 500 is an AOR again, a repo distro. This I, uh, so specific for this plasma system, but coming from AOR. YAT is uh, one of the tools we use to have a conky, the conky Zen thing. And that's that. Now the main thing, well, main, the thing that is going to provide all, all our work, the Arco Linux packages. So all the packages that we built specifically for Arc Linux slash Arc Linux D slash Arc Linux B. So we have a selection, we have a, a repo of packages and we say for this desktop, we need that and that and that and that. And that's exactly what happened. So we hashtag out stuff that we don't need here and we leave open what we do need. So that's um, done yet, uh, already done. And of course, without fonts, where would we be? So we need more beautiful fonts. So to choose from, that's one thing. Linux is freedom of choice. Arch Linux D is two choices. Arch Linux B, again, choices. You install whatever you want. We give you just the tools. And 900 is if you need it. Sometimes some people see this microcode error from Intel when they boot up. And it's, this is the fix and that's done. You'll never see it again. So this concludes almost phase two. We have installed Plasma. All we need to do is reboot, have a look at it, and then continue our path with the personal folder later on. But look, first, let's have a look. So if light DM, this is light DM, if this one says, hey, you have a very, very small screen, maybe 640 on 480 or something, just wait for it. Tip one, just, just go in and see what happens. And you have 1920 and 1080. But should it not be correct, the best tip ever is to leave. So log out again. So not reboot, but log out again. And log out again. And if you log out again, you'll see LightDM will kick in and say, oh, yeah, the screen is bigger. And then you can, everything will be fine. So that's a neat little trick. As long as you know it, that's fine. So here you go, we have um, the clean look. Not much has changed, it's a clean installation. The same uh, is documented on, let me have a look here. Um, phase five, yep. The same thing has been documented on Arch Linux D phase five Arch Linux Plasma. So here, there you go. This is the look on uh, Arch Linux. So the Archway installation phase five this is the look here. Now you check out what we have here. I mean, it's okay, right? It's more or less the same thing. The shortcuts do not work, so I have to actually go and type my termite. So you see, we have Arch Linux D. And maybe again, once again, this one Arch Linux. And this one is then Arch Linux D. So that concludes our video and next one is phase three.